One day women talk about their exes being narcissists. It's a word that we always hear. Narcissistic. My ex was a narcissist, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I don't think people know what narcissism is. So what I done oh my gosh. is that I went to the Diagnostic Statistical Manual of Mental Health Disorders because narcissism is actually a mental health disorder, right? Yeah. It's a mental health disorder. And so in the Diagnostic Statistical Manual, of mental health disorders, there are nine characteristics that show you're a narcissist. And I'm just gonna read them and see if you guys know any narcissists and what you, and whether you think that men or women are the narcissistic ones, right? So number one is an inflated, inflated sense of self-esteem or grandiose sense of self-importance or superiority. Someone who has that, who thinks they're superior to people. So when I look at, I deal with, you know, dealing with women, and I hear women say, I'm a 10. I'm a 10. Is that not a grand old superiority? Is that not a inflated sense of self-esteem? And then number two is that they crave admiration. Number three is that they have an exploitative relationship with people i.e. manipulation, i.e. if I can exploit you for something and I can get something out of it, I'm a narcissist. I see that a lot in the women that say, I'm going to tax these, I'm going to take money from these, I'm going to do all of that, right? Number four is little to no empathy. They have little to no empathy. Number five is an identity that is easily disturbed, i.e. they cannot take criticism. Number six is that they lack an attachment and in, in intimacy with people. Number seven is they have feelings of depression or emptiness when they are not validated. Number eight is that they have a sense of entitlement. Number nine is that they feel like others are envious of them or they may envy others. Those are the top nine characteristics of a narcissist. I'm just going to say, I don't know many men that fit that criteria. And I'm not saying that they, oh, they I'm not saying that I'm there saying, aren't I men disagree. that I disagree. Like, I'm not saying that there aren't men that are like that. I'm saying, in my personal point of view, I know more women that are like that. I'll tell you what I think it is. You know, the 80 20 rule, mm -hmm. right? Go on. 20% of the men mm -hmm. are getting 90% of the women. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those men are probably narcissists. To a certain extent okay because what i'm thinking of all the things that those qualities that you went read off right mm -hmm. is somebody who's in a position who they have a lot of access and they get consistent validation and a lot of their behavior is based on that validation mm. i think the difference is only a very small percentage of men who get all the women get consistent validation so they're more likely to be narcissists whereas a very big portion of women also get consistent validation as well from when you say that's what social media is well exactly yeah. and women are the main consumers of social media validation likes and then comments yeah and then because most women date small that enough, small yeah. percentage of men in their eyes like oh most guys i date are freaking narcissists does mm. that make sense do you think it's a projection thing i i think mm. so i think first of all narcissism is on a spectrum and that we can all exude elements of narcissism. Mm, yeah. And well, you got no, I just read you the nine traits. And I want to finish <laughs> answering the question. From psychologists and psychiatrists. And I, in yeah. my opinion, I feel like women tend to be more intentionally narcissistic, as in that like, once you do something that works, you kind of like repeat it. Whereas I feel like men tend to be unintentional. It's kind of like subconsciously. But even though it's subconscious, it doesn't change the fact that you're demonstrating narcissistic. It traits. doesn't. If, right. if, you, if you demonstrate the traits, you yeah. by, by definition, yeah. you are a narcissist. Yeah. So I don't think a lot of men mean to, whereas sometimes girls have a bit more space to kind of like experiment with some certain results. In When I'm speaking from my own experience and what I see around me, whereas sometimes I do see how a man might be doing something that is an act of narcissism, but I don't think he knows that he's doing it. But in a court of law, it's either actus reus or mens rea. It doesn't change the fact that you committed said act. Yeah, if, so, you, if you commit an act, you're a narcissist. Right. So, but yeah. would you say, though, in your experience, that more, re knowing, well, reading the definitions, would you say that you know more men or women that are narcissistic? 
I think it's quite balanced to be honest. Balanced. You think? Yeah. I feel like once a man knows that you like him, that's when he's kind of he he he's in a position of power and he starts to play around with how much he can kind of like pull strings. That's my personal experience. Yeah, yeah but then out of fifty guys, how many guys would you like? Pardon? Out of fifty guys, yeah, out of fifty guys, how many of those guys would you go? Oh yeah, that you like. Women that's find true. women on on dating apps. <laughs> women find <laughs> women find eighty percent of men unattractive. Yeah, eighty percent of men unattractive on dating apps. Yeah, but then, so twenty only the twenty percent of men that women see on dating apps do they find attractive? But then I would argue that <laughs> this might sound so bad, but then aesthetic isn't immediately <laughs> a thing for women. Like I could initially, when I first met you, you would not cute, but now I know you. Like how you look is not but, immediately. But that's, what, a but that's what dating apps are. They are initially they're aesthetic, aren't they? But then you see the person, you think, oh, that person looks nice. So you're saying uh, they find them unattractive enough to swipe no? Or yes. Still give them a no, yeah. They, oh, well, yes. Only 20 they only swipe the right 5 all... to 15, like 15 oh, okay. to 20% of the time. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so literally 85% of men on dating apps are unattractive <laughs> to women. Probably not. I mean, who got, like, all right, I know there are some, like, normal people that are on dating apps, <laughs> but there are also, also some creeps on there. I've tried myself to get into it and it's just not... It's not been me. And did you know that? Um, I'll ask you a question. Actually, there's something else I want to actually ask. Historically, what percentage of men do you think reproduced? I saw this on your page. You saw it. I enjoyed that. What percentage of men reproduced? I think you said. Now, and let me ask because you've seen it, Nina. What was like throughout a whole history? You've got hundred percent of men. Mm -hmm. What percentage of them do you think reproduced? got to actually have children family all that what percentage i'm gonna say 60 percent. 60 yeah it's actually 40 percent 40 percent of men historically got to reproduce do you know what percentage of women got to reproduce historically don't, just don't. go on <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just wait for the answer i think 80 yeah. percent double so men so 40 percent of men are reproducing with 80 percent of women historically which means that the men that are reproducing have more than one woman that they're reproducing with. Historically. Oh, no. And even currently, right now, if you ask, you ask yourself, if you know a man that's got a child, has he got more than one child with an, as another woman? Probably. Mm. Right? 60% of men don't reproduce. They don't even, they don't even sniff a vagina. Oh, Lord. They don't even sniff it. They don't so even know what it smells like. What are they doing then? Just out here but, this is what, but this is what I've been trying to say. Like, one in three men in the last year are either virgins or have not had sex. 